It's not violence if you don't act on it. Drop that beat, Cece. I hope you wasn't planning on living today, bitch, cause I'ma kill you. I will slice you and dice you and throw you in a pan and burn you. Oh, you think I'm playing, bitch? Oh, you think I'm playing, slut? Oh, you think I'm playing, trick? Oh, you think I'm playing, her? Why did you stop? I was, I was on a roll. What are you doing? You're not even keeping the beat. So I was. No. It's obvious you have a clear case of RDS. Rejection Displacement Syndrome. It's when you have unsubstantiated anger about an unanticipated disappointment and you deny the reality of the situation. Why can't you just say that I'm upset? It's because I have to use syndrome in a sentence. It makes me feel like I'm putting my psychology degree to use. Maybe you should stay home tomorrow. Stay home? Cece gets me, but she doesn't know my life. I'm fine. Yes, ma'am, I can send you 12 packets. Just Listen, Large, I mean Marge, you know fudge? Creates pudge, and no one wants to fuck a fatty. <laughs> you know? Here, can you just, like, pull it down a little? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you're so fat. That's why you need that pills. Thanks for letting me borrow your stapler, girl. Here you go. I didn't let you borrow it. I didn't even know you were here. <laughs> Silly. I'll see you at lunch. Great. Now my stapler has SARS. What are you pointing at? Can you just say it? Am I the only one with a stapler in this godforsaken office? Let me see your eye. I'm gonna splash some water on it. It's no big deal. There's like something in no. it. My job are so ridiculous. If I didn't work at this shithole, I never would have met Fred or Nina, and my life wouldn't suck right now. Who advertises? Where's my stapler? Who advertises? I can't. Where's my stapler? I'm sorry, girlfriend, but you need a session of anger management. But someone stole my stapler. Why not give them a session of don't steal my shit management? Look, Jay, some heifer jacked my parking space at IHOP last weekend. You know what? I did not wig out. I just waited and exhaled. So that's your advice? Breathe? Jay, your attitude is not conducive to our positive working environment. This is for your own good, girlfriend, and our safety. You can thank me later. Anger management is for drug addicts and child stars. I'm neither. What kind of idiot actually thinks this program can fix anyone? Hey! Jay! Jay! Well, how are you? Doing good. It's good to see you. Yeah. What brings you to this ridiculously stupid session? I'm actually teaching this ridiculously stupid session. Of course you are. <laughs> no, I've heard amazing things about you. Jay, it. it's cool. I get it. But it's actually really cool though. I get to work from home and uh, they give us all the free water we want. So, And also, I was an art major. Um, so <laughs> it's better than starving to death, right? <laughs> um, let's get going. Okay. First, uh, let's start off by saying your names and why you're here. Jay, you want to kick it off? Um, my name is Jay. I work at Gutbusters, and I just wanted my stapler back. Okay, so someone keeps taking it, and that makes you upset? No, it was just one time. I, I don't even need to be here, to be honest. So. I know the feeling. See, I'm only here just because some impatient fuck keeps leaving the damn time on the microwave. I mean, just let the time run out, right? It's only three seconds. Oh, okay, just push. Pete. <laughs> Um, you want to read that out? Let's, actually, let's all read it out. Hi, uh, my name's Greg. I work over at Microcorp. 
And I'm here because one of my fellow employees insists on writing me emails in Comic Sans font. I mean, last I checked, I'm a grown-ass man working for a grown-ass company. Okay? Okay? Okay, Greg, uh, have you considered maybe changing your email settings to plain text? Oh. Leslie. My name is Leslie, and I'm here because somebody ate my lunch. And I'm on Weight Watchers, so I only get a certain amount of points. So I can't just eat somebody else's lunch. So I got hungry. And when I get hungry, I get angry. And when I get angry, I start hitting. <laughs> Did I die and go to simple bitch hell? I can't be like these people. Oh God, can we just get through one session without your incessant blubbering? You know, I know a guy down in Office Depot can get you that swing line cordless. They call it the Lexus of staplers. Not just for a small fee. I don't thing. give a fuck about the stapler. Actually, Jay, what do you care about? What the fuck do you say to that? Okay, what I mean is Pete. Pete cares about time management. And that's why the microwave thing gets you so upset. Right? And Leslie. You care about your weight. I'm five pounds away from getting a white ribbon. Exactly. Uh, and you, you care deeply about... So I, have, I actually don't know you at all. I have no idea who you are. But the point remains, Jay, what do you care about? Why am I so wrapped up in Fred liking me? I care about being respected and about office supplies. Uh, hey, Jay, wait a sec. Shit, I thought he said the water was free. I get really thirsty on the road. So. <laughs> it's fine. No, I'm here to uh, give you your completion sticker. It's uh, very important, <laughs> very efficient. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I just thank you for everything. Like, I I thought this was gonna be horrible, and it wasn't that bad. Uh, thank you too. And seriously, thank you for giving Leslie your lunch. <laughs> she needed it. She did need it. She really needed it. <laughs> um, so hey, I was thinking uh, uh, that we should uh, hang out sometime. You know, outside of work and friends and stuff. Like on a date? Are you asking me out? <laughs> I mean, no, since you're offering, yeah, I'd love to this weekend or any weekend. Oh, uh, well, let me, you know, let me check my schedule because uh. I'm just so busy, you know, with all these, you know, weddings and traffic court. Right. And the finale of Single Ladies. You know, I love the uh, Single Ladies. Do you? I do. I don't believe that. Why not? Look at you. You don't look like you like Single Ladies. It's not all about appearances, Jay. I mean, I thought you could dance. <laughs> That's a low blow. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yes, but good seeing yeah, you. Yeah, I am. Um, oh. <laughs> I just touched your nipple. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just gonna get in my car. I think you should uh, before I do something that I regret. <laughs> before that. So, did they at least feed you guys? Just a salad, and I ended up giving mine away. Oh, they're really slacking. When I got sent to racial insensitivity training, they got us Wolfgang Puck ballpoint pens and tickets to see Precious. Well, this I found out my real issue. Rejection displacement syndrome. So what? Who cares if you've got it? Just don't flaunt it at work. If you're gonna blow up, just do it at the post office. Preferably the one on Crenshaw on 39th. Hey. I'm really sorry about what I said to you at Fred's party. I was really upset and embarrassed. Don't let her seduce you. She put your heart in a high powered juicer and make a thick, nasty smoothie out of it. Never thought I'd see that happen. What did you do to him? Now that I've Harlem shaked my demons out, my job isn't terrible. <laughs> Heard about your stapler. I got two of my employee welcome gift baskets, so here you go. I never got a gift basket. Fuck this job. It works. It can also talk. Don't let Patty get her hands on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay. 
I need you to go through these questionnaires, and if anyone said they threw up after taking our drug, pull those out. And do what? Shred them. Oh, oh God, Patty's drooling all over the keyboard again. Jay, be a team player and take care of that, please. Okay, thanks. Hey, can we talk for a sec? Sure. I don't get it. Does he like me or not? Just don't talk to her like that. It's rude. She's rude. What, are you actually friends with her? Yeah. Something like that. So we're just friends. Maybe I need to expand my circle. White Jay, I'd love to go out with you.